Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of an updated English cottage-ish thing. Today we are um, doing a lot of decorating. So in the description below you're going to find a crap ton of links to um, hopefully most of the sets that have the things that I'm using in them. I hope that made sense for you. We finish off with the dining room. We start by placing all of these doors, all of these windows, and that is when we are truly embracing the, the name that I decided to give this channel after uploading my first video. And my channel is Lily's Sim Construction Company. Woohoo! Yay! It sounds so cool! <laughs> um, I don't know. I just thought it sounded kind of neat. I don't actually know anything about construction. My dad's worked in it for, I guess, probably 20 plus years, but I'm painfully ignorant. So I kind of pretend to know things, but I'll be honest, guys, I don't. It's all right. I had to do a lot of room reshaping, resizing, uh, re-wall covering. <laughs> Basically, I had to redo a lot of stuff that I did in the previous episode, but that's just my workflow. Um, if you're as picky as me, or um, maybe you have bad initial taste like me, then you'll know what that's like. You'll know that <laughs> sometimes you just... You've got to try different things. I really like this um, wallpaper. I think it's in one of the like Scandinavian wall covering sets. I don't remember who they're by, but I love all of the wall coverings. I love all of the different paint options. Ooh, and you just saw that one too with the um, geometric shapes. I really like that one. I kept trying to use it pretty much everywhere in the house. Pretty much everywhere. For a while, I settled on that, um, I guess, checkered pattern in the dining room. I thought it looked really classic, but at some point, I decided that this was going to be... Um, I mean, I knew it was going to be updated, but um, I wasn't sure if I wanted it to be super modern or or really what look I wanted to go for um, for the interior. So I eventually settled on um, a kind of clean and bright. Well, okay, it's not clean. <laughs> You'll see once we get to the living room. Um, I just wanted a bright looking home. So I chose uh, this nice white, uh, white-ish floorboard and I used it through most of the home in a lot of the hallways. I didn't use it in the office or the bedrooms, obviously, because you, you like to have carpeted bedrooms, especially on a second floor. And at some point, um, amongst all of this floor placing and whatnot, I lost some footage. I ran out of room on my hard drive is what happened. So you missed a little bit of my decorating, but it's really no biggie. And then this is the teenager's room right now. Ooh, with those feathers. Ooh, I love that feather wallpaper. Ooh, with the geometric one. You know, I just, I love it so much. I think it looks so hip and current. And now, who doesn't love that? Uh, I, it took a while for me to even decide which room was going to be the master bedroom because they were all sort of weird. <laughs> But I did eventually come to some decision. And uh, I really, really like these cabinets that I picked. Um, I think they're the Sonic, it's the Sonic kitchen set. And I, I really like the marble on the top. I like the light brown. It's sort of atypical um, right now. I think like really dark browns or ashy browns are in. But this was... This one kind of made it feel a bit 70s, so I thought maybe like an older couple lived here, so they have a little bit of different taste in um, furniture or in modern. Um, so yeah. I also like the idea that they might have a breakfast nook with a little stool, so it didn't look too formal, but could be a nice little place to look out the window in the morning while you're having your coffee. Oh. 
Doesn't that sound so nice? I would like to sit there and have some coffee. Uh, it took me a while to pick a table. I wanted one that didn't look too 70s and started to look a bit more current. And this is round about the point that I decided I wanted to make my older couple world travelers. And uh, they have all of these photographs from all the time that they've spent um, traveling the world and seeing different places. And even that little sign which had um, uh, like parts of New York City on it, I thought that it would... Um, I thought it would be really cool for them to be travelers and to have all of these really eclectic knickknacks from their travels. Um, one thing that does bother me is that little, <laughs> that little like spoon and fork rack above the stove because it doesn't have a bar with it. I'm assuming that there's probably a bar for it somewhere somewhere in all of these objects, but honestly. I'm not sure. <laughs> I really like this wine rack. I think I might delete it later, but I thought it was a really neat addition. And you know, fancy older people always love their wine. Travelers, maybe as travelers, they would have a bunch of exotic wines and they would always want to keep them on hand. Ooh, and then I found these cute clotheslines and uh, it just emphasized the country, the country-ish cottage nature of it. Here we are now at the office and I, I actually, mm, I, I pretty much like the office. I like the bookshelves that I ended up with and um, that setup right there. It looked, it looked really cozy in the end, I think, or um, at least interesting. And this was when I really first started to, um, Sorry, my cat's looking at me. I was worried she needed something. This is when I first started to uh, really hop in on that uh, world traveler feel. Uh, I started to find a bunch of little little trinkets in the in all of my uh, like clutter section, and I tried to include as many things as I could that obviously signified. Um, a specific place, so like that little Union Jack, um, well, I think it's the Union Jack, it's either that or just the British flag, I'm not sure, um, on that box, and then the sign in the kitchen that I put up with the New York, uh, with the places in New York City, and yeah, also there's um, a lot of photos in their house, because I'm guessing as a world traveler, you probably take a lot of pictures, you want to document all those cool places that you go to. Oh my gosh, and here, I guess I accidentally hit the record button for a little bit and just didn't even realize it. <laughs> so now we're on to the living room, which I really struggled with because of those two archways. Uh, it made it, it just made the setup so awkward and, and the space was kind of tight and narrow and it was just a bit difficult to to get the couches to fit right and to, to like the TV stand. For some reason, I just really like to put TV stands on an angle and I couldn't and that was really upsetting me. It looked way too typical. Oh my gosh, Bastet, no. Stop eating my mouse cord. No, no, no. <laughs> Come on, go, no. Oh. <clears throat> go, go. Okay, okay. All right. Crisis averted temporarily. I'm sure she'll be back. This is where I gave up on the living room for just a little bit so that I could clear my mind and focus on something else. And uh, it got a bit bohemian in here. So it's something that I'm going to have to come back to as well. But I did end up making the bathroom a lot smaller. I was like, well, this would be like um, sort of like a powder room. Um, so it would only have probably a sink and uh, a toilet. And even if this <laughs> doesn't particularly fit into um, the style that maybe I was going for for the couple, um, at, at least it's still eclectic and I just like all of the chairs. <laughs> Um, so that's the end of today's video. If you'd like, like the video. Dislike if you 
didn't like it, that's okay. But maybe you can tell me why you didn't like it. I would appreciate that. And if you really, really liked my video, maybe you can subscribe. Maybe. See you soon.